Hello, Namaste, Adat Rasikal. This is Aditi and welcome back to the Circle of Life Tarot. Uh, this video is going to be in English. We are going to find out you versus them. What is your person's current feelings for the relationship right now? And what do they expect from you uh, in this relationship? Again, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with everybody. If you do watch videos in Hindi, I have a video with the same topic. Uh, recorded in Hindi, it should have been uploaded by now, so you can go check that out. As always, thank you so much for your support. Please do not forget to hit the bell icon, you will be updated of the videos I post. If you wish to learn tarot with me, oracle card readings, charm casting, you want to take a tarot reading with me, you can get in touch with me only through my WhatsApp. The number will reflect here in the video or in the description box below. This is a general reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Let's relax, think about your person. Let's get into the reading. Archangel Michael, my guardian angels and the universe, Holy Spirit and the divine healing messages which are in the highest good for my viewers. All right. Let's find out the relationship energy. Overall relationship uh, energy. Your energy in this relationship right now and your person's energy in the relationship right now. Whenever I do a timeless reading, you get to decide the time. Uh, with tarot because tarot is an energy compass and energy keeps changing uh, look at the video for maybe the next seven days to uh, 30 days not beyond that all right what are the relationship what's happening in your relationship right now okay we have rider visitor arrival message new news quick movement new information taking action all right so um this the, the energy of the relationship here we have aquarius and the timing here is quick days right so if you're waiting to hear for a message from your person uh, be assured that you will hear from your person if there's a long distance relationship you all will travel and be with each other there is going to be some information that you're going to get regarding your relationship or you've already got some information which is going to impact your relationship in some way but there is definitely a message or a messenger coming towards you your energy in the relationship all right we have tree here uh, we have uh, virgo and we have sun here okay uh, longevity health growth ancestry past life deeply rooted expansion and slow so you are someone who looks at this relationship in a very spiritual manner this is something that has impacted you in a very deep manner you are hoping for longevity in the relationship you're hoping for commitment in the relationship you're hoping for structure and stability in the relationship you're someone who does not want to move around much as far as this relationship goes right your roots may go deep your branches may you know spread wide but you would want to stay in one place and reap the benefits of being in the relationship whereas i feel your person is someone who could be uh traveling there could be a long distance relationship or there could be an issue with commitment what are your person's energies in this relationship for some of you all uh, you could be doctors you could be uh, into healing you could be into reiki that sort of a thing uh, your person's energy is here right now the mice worry loss stress theft lack sneaky toxic draining and scars all right um when the energies come out when i pull the cards on camera i am going to read them as they are because this is going to oops resonate for somebody or the other right your person's energy here you are probably dealing with someone who you cannot trust you're dealing with someone who you feel is is very shifty is very shaky someone who could be toxic someone who does not understand your need for stability and structure and is someone who could be a little frivolous or a little light-hearted in the relationship you are looking for commitment whereas your person is someone who is wanting uh, some sort of a long distance relationship or not a long distance relationship but a relationship with maybe just friends with benefits yeah for some of you all a long distance relationship as well your person's energy in this relationship is like a uh, mice who would just come take what they want and run away right so you are stable you are set 
uh, you want to follow protocol this person will come you know nibble at you gone at you take what they want and go so this could resonate for those where you are in a, a relationship where you feel that you know is this just friends with benefits or a relationship just based on whatever this person needs for some of you all there could be an energy that you have helped this person with a lot of uh, money uh, you've given this person financial help and support and this person kind of you know keeps coming back on and off to you with this energy uh, there could be a break in the relationship there could be communication problems and this person is going to come back and talk to you regarding this or something very soon all right what are your feelings for this person in the relationship right now and what are your expectations from this person so you're dealing with someone where i feel that you are the giver in the relationship and this person just comes takes what they want and leave What are your energies in the relationship? Uh, it, it is a little, uh, you're, you know, you're riding waves. Like one minute you want to call it off. You're exhausted. You're tired. You cannot make sense of this person. Uh, the other minute you accept, you move on. This could resonate for, for some of y'all where you've had an ex who did not probably commit to you. For some of y'all, you lost that person. Uh, and I'm sorry if that happened to you. And now this person has come in your life. You feel that this is someone new. This is someone who could bring you the past love that you have lost in somebody else. But probably that is not happening. If for some of you all, yes, you, you are exhausted of this person. You are tired of how this person behaves. Uh, you feel, you know, sad, low, depressed exhausted mentally very very tired but you're still hoping that this person will come towards you in a romantic manner you still have hope that this person will see how much you love them and come back towards you what are your expectations from this relationship and then we will also do your person's uh, expectations and feelings i'll use another deck for that what do you expect from this relationship You want partnership, you want commitment. Uh, your person is someone who kind of, you know, uh, is, is, is someone who wants to be single. Your person is someone who likes finer things in life, uh, you know, spends more than probably what they earn, right? Uh, you want this person to travel towards you. You're, you want this person to give up their independent status and come into an energy of partnership with you. You could be dealing with someone who could be your boss. You could be their boss. You work together, study together. That is this. That is the energy here. For some of you all, if you are married to this person, you all could be separated right now because of the mess that your person is in probably i do see financial problems or some sort of problems because of which there could be a separation for a few of you all you want this person what you want from this relationship is this person to give you that feeling of we are on the same side of the team you can trust me uh, we will work towards our security we will work towards a commitment we will work towards you know completing what we have started whether it is taking this relationship ahead to a marriage if you are already married to kind of you know make this marriage work so you are someone who still has hopes against hope that you know this person is going to mend their ways and come back towards you so this is what you want from the relationship what is it that your person feels for you right now and what are they expecting from you in this relationship? All right. what does your person want from this really what is it, what does this person feel for you right now right uh your person is someone who knows that you're not going to give up on the relationship you're someone who will always at the end you know be their rock and support them and he, your person knows that you have probably accepted that this person is your destiny and no matter what you have to every time go and save them 
this person knows that you want to work on this relationship your person knows that in spite of knowing their truth you have still accepted them and you're still waiting for them so there is this energy of this person if i may say so uh, probably takes you for granted because they know that no matter what you are going to go back to them right um, if i have to talk of signs i have all the signs here but i have leo very strong capricorn very strong uh, i have uh, fixed signs here i have leo scorpio aquarius and uh, taurus as well um so there is a stark contrast in your energies here right i mean your person knows that whenever i go back to you i mean whenever your person goes back to you puts in a little effort and energy you are going to take them back that is the energy that they are in right and what are they feeling for you right now is that um, i will send some message i will go back to them if you all are in no communication for some time or if you had an argument because that is what you're wanting you want communication you want love from this person this person feels that when you do that you're going to accept this as their truth all right what do they really want from this relationship this person has a very practical approach towards the relationship we have six of swords we have devil and we have the uh, strength card here right the, this could resonate for those where they, this is a you know friends with benefits relationship or a relationship where a person comes to you mostly when they uh, they want to be physically intimate with you this is what uh, the devil is about right if not that what this person really wants is um for you to keep fighting for the relationship uh, this person wants that you know uh, they want to move towards you but when they move towards you it is an energy of what are they moving towards you for they are moving towards you for that that um uh, see devil is the energy of you know being bound uh, devil is the energy of being uh, chained to something what this person really wants from you uh, is to probably be able to chain you to kind of manipulate you or bring you to a point where you feel that without them my life is incomplete and i think that is what you feel you think about this person 24/7 and this is what this person wants this person wants to cage you uh, and not let you go anywhere right this person is going to put all sorts of pressure tactics all sorts of manipulation to have you in their lives in an energy where you don't feel like leaving them you know this is toxic you know this is bad for you right we already have it here you know that this is draining even then you keep going back to this person somewhere this person knows that they have kind of entangled you in a way where uh, you cannot let them go so uh, yeah i mean this is very very specific energy it is not going to resonate for everyone right so if this is your energy and you are confused about what you really need to do and whether this really is the truth of your person you can always contact me or anyone else for a personal reading if if you know you are watching this uh, and you know this is your energy um you must feel very very exhausted and very confused right now all right oh this came for the hindi uh, channel also you will be traveling soon this person will come towards you or will tell you you know what we've been away for so long i've just come let's go on a holiday probably take you on a holiday they'll be back expect to hear from them soon you also have the rider right this person is coming back to you now this it is up to you whether you want to take this person back or no there is no judgment in tarot it all depends on you and what you want to do but this person will be back gambling problems with addiction gambling bad finances and that is what the devil card is about so if i have to interpret these cards based on gambling it also means that you know you are your person savior this person has some sort of addictions uh, bad finances and they know that you will always support them you will always fight for them and you will always watch them all right fire sign aries leo sagittarius and again we have honeymoon phase attending someone's wedding very specific message and then we have earth sign here taurus virgo capricorn well this is all i have for you uh, thank you so much for watching i wish you a lot of strength and courage as always please do keep your energies and vibrations high what you focus on is what you get and i will see you in your next reading